kind of day, is it? It's a hot kind of day. Is it? <laughs> Yeah. It's the wind that's killing us. Whew. But we're going to go out this morning, take care of the chores, and then um, i got to get some video editing done, and we're going to work on some videos for you guys. We've been a little bit slack lately trying to get stuff done um, because... Uh, it's just been a lot going on. So, uh, normal stuff. Uh, uh, work. I've been pulling a lot of midday shifts. So, uh, midday shifts are a little bit weirder. Uh, not necessarily harder, but just weirder. Um, because they're usually like morning to like six or seven. And so, it's a little bit weirder uh, when it comes to getting stuff done around here. Um, and then staying up late, which means we haven't been getting up as early. All right, guys. Morning. Morning. <clears throat> yeah, the wind is what kills us. You can take care of I know. Show her. Look how fast that little munchkin's running. Hello. Yeah, you eating the green tomato pie? Guys, oh, look at this. Empty tractor because we processed. Yes, come on. We processed rabbits yesterday. We got two done. We've been slowly chipping away at it. We have, we still have three left. Yeah, still got three rabbits left, but we're slowly chipping away at it. It's gonna take some time to get it done, but <clears throat> determination is key. <clears throat> determination is key. Are you excited to have less rabbits or more stew meat, or how do you feel? Uh huh. <laughs> um. No, I'm just, I'm ready to. We would have done them all, but we didn't have enough time. Um, you know, doing two took us an hour and a half together. And then the other day it took me an hour to do one by myself, so. Yeah, we're still kind of noobs at it, so. Yeah, they're very, well I know most people it takes like five minutes to process a rabbit, but we're, we've just been having like some difficulty getting the help to come off completely mm -hmm. like it should so I think sharper knives is definitely part of our problem yeah but it's all right all right let's get these chores knocked out so we can go inside and have some coffee yeah. how's that feed looking soupy, soupy? yeah mm -hmm. had to turn the well pump off last night at like 10 o'clock because it just got so cold. It's November. That's how crazy this weather has been. It's November and I got we got roses over there. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm gonna run them in this area. This is where we had planted the original garden with the squash and everything. And what I'm thinking is, run them in there, and then plant the cereal oats that I have after that. If I can plant the cereal oats, then I can put the, the goats over here at some point when the uh, cereal oats start coming up in the winter. 
that's gonna be my plan. We'll see how that goes. Guys, you wanna see the other weirdest thing? So where are we friend the chickens? The rest of the grass is dead. But look at this grass. And look at that grass. Look at that grass. It's kind of weird. Um, <clears throat> but whatever's happening is pretty cool because that means we're getting grass that's kind of lasting past this really cold, almost first frost time. So there's still stuff to eat. So that's nice. I have fed the pigs and the goats and I'm working on feeding the chickens. So I just moved the ducks area just a little bit so that they have a little bit of fresh grass. So my end goal for them is to put wood chips in their area. Um, it's kind of like a deep bedding system somewhat to keep the smell down. However, something you can do for ducks is um, plant kale or brassicas or some different um, grasses and then be able to have a feed source for them uh, the same way we have been putting down cover crops for the goats, the pigs, the chickens, and then um, a future animal. So you can do the exact same thing with ducks so that you can have pastured ducks. So uh, that is something that I will be working on. I really want to plant some kales for them. Um, so I'll be looking at getting a larger bag of kale seeds um, to do so. Excuse me, that's not for you. Guys. Not a bad turnout for today. I got, I got six. Which is not bad being as the nights have been getting down in the 30s. Uh, last night I think was actually like freezing 32 31 um, but not long enough for it to freeze the ground but definitely long enough to freeze the tops of the grass so not too bad not too bad Thank you. <clears throat> mm. hmm. It's hot, but it's good. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I know this heart, this light is a little bit harsh, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about the importance of rest. Rest is a good thing, and I sometimes forget that, um, and I think that I have to go, 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 and be superwoman and do all the things and then I crash and burn. Today I am trying to focus on just resting um, because I can feel my body saying, hey, you're not superwoman, let's not forget this. So um, I've got some nerve pain in my hips going on today, so we're just going to rest for the day. Much like this little one needs to do. So we're gonna rest and take some time to just enjoy the dogs. Probably do some hardcore snuggling on the couch. I feel a little weepy this morning so um, I'm just gonna try to not cry today maybe cry if I really have to, but um, just focus today on just resting. It was one of those mornings where I didn't really want to get up out of bed. But I did anyways, because animals need to be fed. It's three o'clock. Well, a little bit after. It's time for some playtime outside with the puppies. Hi, Mama. Come here.
this to be the preface if you do add in any of the herding stuff. I am not a professional. I do not know what I'm doing. My dogs are not trained to herd. This is just simply working on their instinct and I do not have dog broke goats. So that is why they are charging my dogs and could not care less that my dogs are in there and kind of want to play more than be obedient. So um, I'm not a professional. I have never done this before. So um, do not grade too harshly on that.